But in other Tarkov news, um, so there was a massive fuel shortage um, going on not too long ago. For a while there, fuel was constantly out of stock. And when you try to buy uh, it from Jaeger... Tarkov as well, not just Texas. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, for yeah. sure. In tar- IRL and uh, in, in game. I mean, IRL if you were in Texas, at least, because it, yeah. it was apocalypse Feel, mode out money, here. money, man. And we, we can talk about that a little bit more at the end of the uh, podcast, you know, or, you know, towards the end when we get through all this content. But because it was kind of some crazy stories out here, chat. We, we have some to talk about. We'll definitely do that. Um, but anyway, the fuel was running over 600K on the flea market. And even barters like matches were pricing over 250K in total. Um, just insane prices just for fuel. For the big fuel containers, it's now running about 200K. Um so, so they've decided to kind of end that fuel shortage, which is good, and it seems completely reasonable to me given that Jaeger's price is 140k, um, and and so my question for you guys now though is given that the fuel shortage is now over, obviously that was crazy. Um, you can now buy them from Jaeger. You can get that 140k um, fuel, and you can kind of stockpile it if you want. It's still a high price tag for fuel. It's higher than it probably was last wipe i don't think it was 140k i think it was like 100k maybe even um so this could be a high price tag for those that don't have a bitcoin farm what do you guys think are you do you like where fuel is at right now in terms of price um i think it needs to change some more i mean obviously i i've looked, watched other people like clean for example again he's talked about that he thinks tarkov's economy needs a complete overhaul but this is a specific question about one thing i guess the fuel how do we like how that's fitting into the economy i mean Compared to, if you're getting fuel for your Bitcoin farm, I mean, it makes sense. It takes a lot of the profit out of it if you don't have, like, the uh, the solar power um, to, to double your fuel uh, capacity. But um, if you're just, like, little Timmy trying to craft a Salawa in your, uh, in your hideout for the Therapist Quest, like, 140000 is way too much. you got to find a fuel and raid. Um, and I'm sure it'd be tempting to just sell it anyways if they were that price. Uh, but at 200000 and being able to buy Jaeger, like Jaeger was out of stock constantly that, like for a little while, but lately I've been able to just buy it straight up for 150. Um It seems decently balanced. Like I'm speaking from privilege because I finally got my Bitcoin farm up, so that's good. Um, I don't know. It's It's hard. Like, I feel like, I don't even know what I feel. Yeah, I'm a neutral party I, on this. To be honest, like, I feel like it's probably fine, uh, just due to how much money you can make off Bitcoins. But, uh, like, like you said, like, for little Timmy, man, I think they should really just consider adding, like, a five-gallon jug or something, you know? There's something for, like... Yeah, get yourself like your three crafts down or whatever you know you need to do and you know make the salad walls and you know uh just be done with the jug you know see that could be interesting but I, w- I was thinking about it too um i do think it's expensive obviously it's more expensive than it's been but i do think that given bitcoin farms it is a good price but yes i do hear about the timmies that don't have the ability to put funds into it like that but i think it's okay because you do i'm pretty sure now in the uh, starting uh items that you get you know it, it gives you fuel when you start the game and since you can just turn your generator off i don't think it's too bad like you're not going to really consume too much fuel as long as you turn it off that's and use that starter stuff it off. yeah so as long as if you yeah if you forget that you're this is outside of that conversation but between those two things i think it is a lot i think it's pretty decently balanced compared to a lot of things in tarkov so that's my thoughts on it now chat um let us know in the comments and everything what you guys think we would definitely like to hear where you think fuel will be headed from here and where it's at now sure.